Welcome to the We've Been Drinking MMA uh, podcast. Uh, we are breaking down uh, fight UFC Fight Night Blades versus Pavlovich. This is the second fight on the card. This is uh, Yasmin Lucindo versus Brogan Walker at 125 pounds. Going with uh, Yasmin Lucindo for my prediction, um, but I mean she's minus 350, 350 dollars to make 100. Very expensive, so I'll throw her on a parlay. But uh, the real bet I want to make as well um, is just that this fight goes a distance, you know, all three rounds. Yeah, going distance is my lock for this fight. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that, I mean, we both think Yasmin Lucindo is going to win. Uh, she's going to win because Brogan Walker basically has pretty slow punches, except for Brogan Walker's jab. Her jab is very, she flicks it out there, very confident with it. And on top of that, she's got a one-inch reach advantage. So what that means is, is that when she flicks out that left hand, that jab, she'll be able to hit uh lucindo and or at least kind of keep lucindo off of her and lucindo is young she's 20 years old uh and lucindo does go forward but not that much actually she'll throw combinations with some heat on it but she doesn't press forward enough to pressure somebody One of the reasons i think she lost her debut in the ufc lucindo is is that you know she she throws good combina- pretty good combinations but she doesn't push forward enough so it, it leaves that out for somebody else to go forward on her. And when, when you when you have a one-inch reach disadvantage and the other girl is a worse fighter, Brogan Walker is a worse striker, but Brogan Walker has that jab, it just means that you can get walked down just a little bit. And Lucindo should win two rounds easy. But still, with a jab, you know, that can connect here and there, and Lucindo doesn't push forward those combinations, it's kind of a recipe for going the distance. So pure striking affair. So 15-minute so 15, 15 fight, uh, going the distance, let's go.